Seeking ideas for landing systems to return humans to the moon, showcasing our aeronautics research efforts, and the science connection to Apollo 11's splashdown. A few of the stories to tell you about this week at NASA. We're looking for ideas from American companies on a human landing system for our Artemis program, which aims to put the first woman and next man on the moon by 2024. Although internal studies point to a three-stage landing system to safely transport astronauts between the moon and our lunar gateway, we're interested in alternative approaches that can accomplish the same long-term goals of global lunar access and reusability. Our Artemis missions will use what we learn on the moon to prepare for human missions to Mars. We joined the Experimental Aircraft Association's Air Venture Oshkosh 2019 event with forums and exhibits showcasing the latest technologies in aeronautics research. History was also on display with an overview of the space race during Project Apollo. The event also included updates on a wide range of current and future NASA science and space exploration programs. Our 50th anniversary celebration of Apollo 11 continued this week with a special edition of NASA Science Live on July 23rd, taking viewers on board the USS Hornet aircraft carrier that recovered the Apollo 11 capsule after splashdown. Splashdown marked the conclusion of the cruise mission, but it was just the beginning for the science brought back from the moon. This episode focused on what we learned from the Apollo missions, what we're still uncovering today, and what we hope to discover with future Artemis missions to the moon. It's our honor to have you on board, and we just hope that we're keeping the innovative spirit alive that you all sparked. On July 24th, the date Apollo 11 splashed down 50 years ago, Michael Collins, the mission's command module pilot, spoke to the crew aboard the International Space Station from our Johnson Space Center in Houston. Those uh, Apollo people who are still around, we salute you, and the, we didn't realize we'd uh, spawned an operation of such complexity when we were doing it a few years back, but uh, bless you and uh, have a good one. The space station is a multinational research lab and technology test bed where we're learning human health and other research vital to our exploration future. And lift off. On July 25th, our commercial partner SpaceX launched its Dragon Cargo spacecraft to the International Space Station aboard a Falcon 9 rocket from Cape Canaveral Air Force Station in Florida. The Dragon is delivering supplies, equipment, and science investigations to the orbital outpost as part of the company's 18th resupply mission for NASA. Chris Kraft, NASA's first flight director, passed away on July 22nd. Kraft created the concept of NASA's mission control and led the human spaceflight program from Project Mercury through Apollo 12. After becoming director of our Johnson Space Center, he continued playing a vital role in the success of the final Apollo missions through the first flights of the space shuttle. His concept of mission operations is still in daily use by the International Space Station mission control team. Chris Kraft was 95 years old. That's what's up this week at NASA. For more on these and other stories, follow us on the web at nasa.gov slash twine.